Avocados. Yum. Dark chocolate. Yum. Avocado chocolate mousse pie. We're gonna find out. I found this recipe scrolling through my newsfeed on Facebook. The picture looked good, but when I read the ingredients, I was kind of doubtful. Part of me thinks this sounds really disgusting, but the other part knows that chocolate covers a multitude of sins, so could go either way. Try new things, right? You can make this a vegan recipe if you use non-dairy butter or butter alternative and non-dairy chocolate, but I don't really care, so I'm using butter. According to this website, Oreos are vegan. Is that right? It doesn't sound like it should be right. Well, I don't see anything in here that says milk or butter. Does that mean Oreos are good for you? <laughs> or really, really bad for you that they don't have any natural ingredients whatsoever. This recipe calls for 20 Oreos. What? They're vegan. You will need a food processor for this. And the directions read, in a food processor, blitz the Oreos into coarse crumbs. I didn't know that blitz was a cooking term. like lightning. Everybody was fighting. The music was soothing and they all started grooving. There's still some big chunks in here. How coarse is too coarse? Now we'll just blitz it some more. And the man in the back said everyone attacked and they turned into a ballroom blitz. Take half a stick of butter or a quarter cup and melt it down in the microwave. Or use whatever dairy alternative that you want to use. It's, it's a bubble blitz. It's, it's a bubble blitz. Stuck in my head now. Beep. All melty. Without cutting yourself, add the coarse crumbs to the butter, mix it in, and that looks like really yummy dirt. You want to press this down into a pie pan. This is the crust of the pie. And then once you have your nice little mud pie, put it in the fridge. And this recipe calls for coconut cream. It makes an assumption that you can't just go out and buy coconut cream, that you have to buy coconut milk and put it in the fridge and wait for it to separate and then scoop out the cream and leave the water. But I just bought the cream. But it does say new on it, so maybe they didn't have this when the recipe was written. But anyway, I'm doing this easier. The recipe calls for two cans, and it says to whip the coconut cream with an electric mixer for a few seconds until it's smooth and creamy and then gently fold in two tablespoons of sugar. Mm. I think this still has a lot of coconut water in it. I'm guessing that's the cream part. I said the cream was supposed to rise to the top. It's not the top, it's at the bottom. It doesn't smell like coconut. Uh, 
doesn't really smell much like anything. It's really thick. It's like thicker than Crisco thick. <laughs> It'll take me a bit to get this out of the can. It's thick. We're gonna mix this until it's smooth. Might take a bit. Still using the mixer that sucks. Took more than a few seconds, maybe like a minute. So we're supposed to fold in two tablespoons of sugar into this and put it in the fridge. I don't really know what it means to fold in something, but I just assume that it means you Push it around until it's mixed in. Am I folding? I think it's all folded. Still doesn't smell like coconut. Tastes like coconut. Doesn't smell like it. The recipe calls for seven ounces of dark chocolate, which these are 4.25 ounces. This is the extra large bar. So just a little less than two. You want to break them up and melt them either in the microwave or in a double boiler. I love dark chocolate. And the reason why you don't hear Brandy's nails clicking all over the floor is because she's in the back hiding under the bed. I discovered that she's afraid of packing materials, so I put a cardboard box in the hallway. <laughs> now she won't come out. Which is good, because I don't like hearing all that clicking <laughs> editing. Whatever you gotta do. Nice and melty. To the food processor, you want to add the melted chocolate, five avocados, half a cup of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. I absolutely love avocados. I'm one of those people that can just eat it with a spoon, you know. I won't with this because I need it for the recipe. But some people hate it. Avocados is one of those things that you either love or hate. There's really no in between. But I love it. I think I'm gonna stick with adding four avocados because these are pretty large and it didn't specify size, so it looks like we have enough. And I have enough to do this. Mm. So good. Now we're gonna add the chocolate. looks so wrong. We might have just ruined two bars of chocolate. I added half a cup of cocoa powder and adding half a teaspoon of vanilla and just a pinch of salt. All right, here goes nothing. I'm trying to push down all the green chunks. Doesn't look too bad. This looks like pudding. I'm not really familiar with mousse. What's it supposed to be? In my mind, mousse is a giant cow with a coat rack on its head. This just looks like chocolate pudding to me, and that's what it smells like. In a large bowl, we're gonna mix together the chocolate and the coconut that's in the fridge. And that's not going anywhere. Scoop out the chocolate. Want to lick the beater? Now we're going to fold in the coconut cream. Here we have the end result. Lost all the green. Now we're going to add the filling to our crust, which I'm just realizing doesn't look nearly deep enough to hold all the filling.
I still have an awful lot of filling left over. Might have to make another one if it's any good. So it says to cover it and put it in the fridge for three hours or in the freezer for an hour. So I'm gonna watch a movie, give Brandy a treat for not being a pest. I'll see you again in three hours. So it's all set up. Those white chunks are the coconut cream that didn't get folded in very well. Let's have a taste. Well, it definitely looks like a nice chocolate dessert. The recipe made a big deal about the coconut cream covering the taste of the avocado. We'll see if it actually does. It kind of smells like avocado. Here goes nothing. not terrible, um, but it does taste like chocolate guacamole. I think part of the problem was that I used avocados that weren't all that ripe, so it has kind of that unripe flavor to it. you can still taste the avocado. So, if you don't like avocado, you definitely won't like this. But as far as like a healthy vegan recipe, eh, I wouldn't make it again, but for what it is, it's all right. So I'm gonna take this, uh, I go to a knitting circle with some ladies that I know. I'm gonna take this tomorrow. We'll see how they like it. I'd say it's it's good for what it is, but what it is is chocolate guacamole. So if that sounds nasty, then I'm probably not gonna like this. But it's not terrible. We bought it, and um, of course the yeah, cleaner costs them. more than that. She I will. need the fish slips. But I'm the fish almost yeah, done on four one. or five rows from just putting the ribbing on the bottom. Be honest. <laughs> it tastes like it has grass in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it does. All right. There we go. Oh, I know, but that's how it tastes. It cover. It does. I, I think it tossed. tastes a little dirt. Ish. Oh, no, you're everybody! I, then maybe I better not. Take everybody this ought to eat a little dirt. It's good. I did when I was a child. I paid my. Okay. Dues. We all have. Don't let me get you. Some. Yeah, exactly. And eat grass too. You try everything. Well, and it builds up your immunity. Does it? I can yeah. taste the texture. Good mm -hmm. for you. I can taste the texture of the avocado, but I can't say that I taste the avocado. <laughs> you're still in the shop, Paulie. You're still, still in the shop. shop. <laughs> what do you think? It's one of those, like, I'm not sure if I like that it's or not. It's too chocolatey for me. Oh, okay. never can be too chocolatey. Oh, well, no, I would almost, it could be sweeter. Because uh -huh. the avocado definitely takes that Tons chocolate of that. edge off of it. Yeah, yeah. I, it's got a, it doesn't taste like grass. It just tastes very smooth. Avocado it tastes smooth. like, it tastes like grass and crusty chocolate. Is that <laughs> grass? All right, so the consensus is meh. <laughs> Different. different. I don't know what I would say meh. It's all right. Some people liked it, some people didn't. If you want to try it, go ahead and try it. So, we had mixed reviews. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I was pretty indifferent to the whole thing. I would make it again. But if you want to try it, go for it. Some people like chocolate guacamole. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions of some recipes you'd like me to try, put them down in the comments. And enjoy!